the last 100 years, well over 50% of the world's forests have been cut down. The majority of that destruction has occurred mainly within impoverished nations, where many countries, they haven't experienced 50% deforestation, they have experienced 90 to 95% deforestation. Sometimes it's uh, Western greed, but a whole lot of the global deforestation is the result of impoverished people worldwide who are cutting down one, two, or three trees every single week. And often these are desperately poor moms who are looking to feed their children for that week. And they'll cut down that live tree and it's turned into charcoal. Then they can take that charcoal, they can put it in bags and sell it. And then finally, uh, cutting down forest for pasture land, small plot farms is the result of uh, impoverished farmers. They don't have effective fertilization or methodologies to make the land productive, so they'll do slash and burn and wreck this piece, move on to the next piece, and just keep doing that on a larger and larger scale. It does all kinds of things that are destructive, I guess you could say, hydrologically. If a healthy force is there, it transfers the rainwater into the aquifers. But if the healthy force isn't there, then all of that water rushes away and is swept down in the rivers and the streams. The most profound example that I've seen is Mahabana, Madagascar. When I first went there, the ocean was literally brown because of all the erosion from the deforested estuary. Rainfall patterns are being changed because forests historically provide formation of clouds. Your ability to transfer moisture from evaporation to the next region goes away because the forest is gone. The springs go away, which is why we're having to dig so many wells these days. Historically, we didn't have to do that. Ecologically, environmentally, economically, it's all disaster. What Eden does is we try to reverse engineer that problem. Keep them in the village. Heal the environment. Take them out of immediate desperation by giving them a fair wage. When you put the trees back, it takes time. You have to be diligent, you have to be patient, but the, the negative cycle now begins to literally reverse. With the restoration of the forest, you have a number of quick positivities that begin to occur. Erosion is stopped, flooding is stopped, soil quality improves, fisheries improved, farming improves, rainfall patterns begin to return to historic norms. The springs begin to flow. Guess what? The ocean's blue again. That 80 million mangrove trees absorbed all that erosion and, and transferred it back into the soil where it belonged. Animals return because they have habitat again, and it's the way it's supposed to be.